Bill, which once again demonstrates our deep commitment to the care and well-being of all South Australians, especially our most vulnerable community members. Here, here. Every one of us on this side of the House is acting strongly every day to put safety of our community first. The development of the Office for the Ageing Amendment Bill 2018 fulfils the Government's election policy to protect our vulnerable adults. The policy committed to developing legislation that would focus on early intervention, case coordination and information sharing whilst empowering a government agency to conduct investigations into reports of abuse or neglect of vulnerable adults. The Marshall Liberal team made a commitment that the development of adult safeguarding legislation would be an early priority, with a bill tabled in Parliament within the first 100 days of forming government. The bill was tabled on 20th of June 2018 and passed the Legislative Council on 23rd of October 2018. The bill addresses many of the recommendations of the previous state and national inquiries into elder abuse, including the Closing the Gaps Report, the Australian Law Reform Commission's inquiry into protecting the rights of older Australians from abuse, and the final report of the Joint Committee on matters relating to elder abuse. The bill also takes into account the recommendations of the Independent Commissioner Against Corruption's inquiry into Oakden. Sadly, one in 20 older Australians experience some sort form of abuse, often by someone they know and trust. Elder abuse can be physical, financial, sexual, chemical, neglect or emotion, with financial and emotional abuse occurring most frequently, most frequently and often together. For every one report, it is likely that another five remain hidden. The cost to the individual, families, society and government is significant. Recent national and state inquiries have found that despite the efforts and resources committed to addressing elder abuse, there are still gaps reported in our current system. In particular, there is no single government agency in South Australia that has a clear statutory role for vulnerable adults who, despite having full decision-making capacity, are experiencing abuse or neglect or are left to navigate complex systems alone. So what are we doing? This bill provides for the establishment of a new adult safeguarding unit located in the Office for Ageing Well within the Department for Health and Wellbeing. Previously known as the Office for Ageing, part two of the bill provides for the name of this office to be changed to the Office for Ageing Well, reflecting this government's commitment to combating ageism by challenging the way ageing is framed in the language and structure of the services our government delivers. The new Adult Safeguarding Unit will complement the role of the police and other government and non-government agencies by providing the South Australian community with an approachable, empowered body which has statutory responsibility and accountability for responding to the reports of abuse neglect or mistreatment of our most vulnerable adults. Whilst a key focus of the unit will be on the prevention of abuse through awareness raising and community education, where reports of alleged and suspected abuse are received, the unit's responsibility will be to assess and investigate these reports and then either refer them on to appropriate persons or bodies or work in collaboration with other agencies to coordinate a multi-agency and multidisciplinary approach to responding to concerns. The bill takes a rights-based approach which places the vulnerable adult at the centre of any safeguarding measures or interventions. Importantly, the bill enables a per person with decision-making capacity who is experiencing abuse or neglect to decline support in cases where no immediate harm is posed to either their life or that of others, thus supporting an adult's right to make decisions for themselves that others may deem wrong or inappropriate. 
The bill provides authorised officers who include the director and certain employees of the adult safeguarding unit with a range of coercive information gathering powers to enable them to investigate reports of abuse effectively, such as the power to require a person to answer questions and produce documents. In the case of an authorised officer using force to enter any premises, place, vehicle or vessel, this power can only be exercised with a warrant issued by a magistrate or in urgent circumstances with the approval of the director, which provides some assurance against inappropriate use. The bill provides for voluntary reporting but mandatory response to a report of abuse or suspected abuse of a vulnerable adult. Mandatory reporting is not an approach that is, is supported in responding to adults with decision-making capabilities. Under the bill, the director is required to assess all reports made to the unit and on completion of the assessment, must make a decision as to whether to carry out an investigation into the matter, refer the matter to an appropriate state authority or other person or body, or decline to take further action. To support transparency and accountability of decision-making, a person who is aggrieved by a decision of the adult safeguarding unit or the director made in relation to the safeguarding of a vulnerable adult may have the de this decision reviewed. This review will be undertaken by the chief ex executive in the first instance with the option of an external review by the ombudsman available as a secondary step in cases relating to serious abuse. The legislation and operation of the unit will be further supported by a charter of rights and freedoms of vulnerable adults, which will be developed in consultation with vulnerable adults, their carers and families. Regulations and a comprehensive code of practice will also be developed, which will outline in a detailed and practical way how the Act is to be implemented and, in particular, how prescribed agencies will work together to fulfil their obligations. This legislation is the first of its kind in Australia. Given the limited local experience to draw upon, it is, is proposed to stage the implementation and operalisation of the Act after it is proclaimed. The decision review processes will not come into operation until 12 months after the commencement of the Act. The safeguarding provisions will only apply to vulnerable adults aged 65 years or older for the first three years of operation or 50 years or older for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander vulnerable adults. The bill provides for an independent review of the operation of the Act to be undertaken within its first three years of operation to ensure this legislation is meeting the needs and expectations of our South Australian community. And we have provided the funding. The state budget 2018-19 provides 538,000 in 2018-19 growing to 256,000 per annum by 21-22 for the establishment of the new adult safeguarding unit. On behalf of my electorate of King, I wholeheartedly support this bill, which once again demonstrates that our Liberal government's deep commitment to the care and well-being of all South Australians, especially our most vulnerable community members, I commend this bill to the House. I'm for Ghana.